everyone, it's Awesome Memphis Yoga with Jen. Today's practice is going to be a little bit of a calming practice to help us wind down at the end of the day, or maybe to start off the day on a calm note, or even maybe in the middle of the day wanting to reground ourselves. Um, we're going to move a little bit more slowly, a little more intentionally, and listen to the body, taking it easy when we need to. We're going to start at the top of our mat and standing. Take the toes together and heels slightly apart, if that's okay with your hips. You can widen the feet a few inches if you'd like, if that makes you feel more stable. But wherever you are, release the hands by your sides, palms facing forward, and gaze directly forward. Feel the crown of the head lift high towards the sky. Inhale, shoulders pull up towards the ears, and exhale, pull them all the way down to their limit. Standing here, allow the eyes to softly close, and come into the breath, come into the practice. Breathing more deeply as you inhale and exhale. Conscious breathing here, inhale, feel the chest expand. And exhale, feel the shoulders soften, belly soften. Keep standing up tall, legs active, inhale and exhale. And every inhale, feel the body energized, lifting. And every exhale, releasing the shoulders, releasing the neck. Two more breaths like this, inhale and exhale. Last controlled breath, inhale. And slow, steady exhale. On your next breath, allowing the eyes to softly open. And notice where you are standing in this moment, coming to the present moment. Inhaling, pull the shoulders up and towards the ears, all the way up. And exhale, release them all the way down, pull them down in the opposite motion. Inhale, shoulders up towards the ears, keep standing upright. And exhale, pull all the way down. Try to find a full range of motion in the shoulders. Two more. Inhale, pull up, scrunching up the neck. And exhale, lengthen the neck, feel lengthen the back of the body. Two, one more. Inhale, reaching high with the shoulders. And exhale, pushing down with the shoulders. Good. Inhale, fingertips reach all the way high. And exhale, palms chart center. Inhale, fingertips reach. And exhale, again, pull the shoulders down towards the ground. Inhale, keep the fingertips energized up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck in the lower ribs a little, feel the back of the body long. Chest stays slightly open here, breathing in. And exhale, palms start center. Inhale, arms up to a T. And exhale, bring the left hand across the body. Bring the left forearm in with the right hand. And now we're going to inhale again. Shoulders both come up towards the ears. And exhale, consciously pull down the shoulders towards the ground. Keep standing up tall. Crown of the head lifts, chin lifts. Inhale, shoulders up. And exhale, pull them down, push them down. Two more, all the while stretching the front of the left shoulder. Exhale, pull down. Face is calm, move with the breath. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Staying here now, pulling the arm in a little further into the chest. Calm the face, calm the breath. Find your limit to this stretch. Allow it to feel good and natural. One more breath in. And exhale, slowly releasing the arms by your sides. Inhale, both arms all the way high. And exhale, palms start center. Checking the toes, checking the heels. Keep the outside edges of your feet parallel, whether the toes are together or slightly apart. Inhale, arms to a T. And exhale, taking the second side. Right arm comes into the body. Pull it in with the forearm and recenter the body, recenter the gaze. Inhale, shoulders pull up towards the ears, struggling it up. Exhale, pull everything down. 
Inhale, up towards the ears. And exhale, releasing neck long. Two more times. Inhale, up. And exhale, down consciously with effort, pulling the shoulders down. Last one. Inhale, up. And exhale, pulling it down, neck as long as you can, and now staying here, maybe pulling the forearm a little closer to the chest, recenter the body, neck is neutral. Chin maybe needs to lift a little bit, keep the gaze directly forward. Breathe here, and find calmness, noticing the stretch in the shoulder, the arm, acknowledging it there and allow the breath to maintain steadiness. One more breath in. And exhale, releasing the arms by your sides. Inhale, arms all the way up. Reach with the fingertips, active arms. And exhale, palms, heart center. One more, arms all the way high. Upward salute, maybe gazing up at the fingertips, up towards the sky. And exhale, palms towards heart center. Inhale, bring the arms to a T. And exhale, find a clasp behind the back with the hands. Take the opposite thumb on top, the weird thumb, whatever that means for you. And now inhale, chest opens. Stay here. Pull the chest up towards the sky as you pull the fists down towards the ground. Feel the shoulders opening in front body. Breathe in. And exhale. One more inhale here. And now exhale, releasing the hands to the hips. We're going to turn the elbows forward, round the body, pull in the belly, caving in, gazing down at the toes. Inhale, open up, elbows come behind you, chest open, that same shape that we were just in. And exhale, round, pull the elbows forward, cave in the belly, belly tucks in, gaze at the toes. Last one, inhale, open up the chest, Maybe pushing the hips forward as you back bend slightly. And exhale, rounding, elbows pull forward. Tuck in the belly button towards the spine. Inhale to neutral, keep the hands on the hips. And exhale, shoulders release down. Inhale, arms come to a T. And again, take a clasp behind the back, the same weird thumb on top. Inhale, chest opens. Again, open up the chest, maybe back bend slightly. And exhale, begin to forward fold, bend the knees deeply. And come into kind of a chair leg situation as you allow the fists to come forward in front of you. Pause here, knees are bent. Maybe the belly is resting on the thighs. Keep pulling the fists away from you. Inhale here. And exhale, lean toward the toes. Allow the fists to feel heavy. Allow the neck to stay soft. Breathe here. You can keep the eyes closed if you like. Two more breaths. Keep feeling heavier in the torso, heavier in the head, heavier in the hands. Facing inward, last breath in. And exhale. Now inhale, gazing at the toes, pull halfway up, straighten the legs. And exhale, bending to the right knee, turning the shoulders towards the left as you come into a twist. Breathe here. Fists are still heavy in front of you. Left leg straight, right knee bent. Breathe. And exhale, sinking a little deeper. Find your edge in this twist. Whatever it looks like. Breathe, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale here. And exhale, pushing the leg straight back to center. Lengthen the spine. Pull the fists up towards the sky. And exhale, second side. Coming down, bending the left knee. Left shoulder comes towards the left knee. And twisting towards the right. Right leg straight, left knee bent. Breathe here, twisting over to the right. Inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Feel heavy in the arms. Keep opening the shoulders, opening the chest. One more breath. 
and exhale, push into the bent knee, come back to neutral, open up the chest to an L shape, and exhale, slowly make your way back to standing, releasing the fists, and making some circles with the wrists, one direction then the other, with closed palms, and then with open palms, breathing, inhale, and exhale, finding your breath. Releasing the hands to the hips. Bring the toes together, heels slightly apart. From here, right, bring the right knee into the chest. And pause here, balancing. Feeling the left leg straight and strong. All toes making contact with the mat. And now taking the hands and clasping behind the thigh or behind the shin, whatever is more accessible to you, whatever allows your chest to stay open. Breathe here, inhale, and exhale, stay here. Neck is long, shoulders pull down. Inhale here, stay for the exhale. One more breath in, and now exhale, releasing the knee, keep it hovering in front of you, hands to the hips. Slowly lean forward. As you lean forward, just keeping bringing this bent knee behind you, hovering the heel behind you. Lift the heel. Coming through Warrior Three briefly. Now bending to the front knee. Step the back foot back. Find crescent legs. Good. Inhale. Upright the torso, and find crescent pose. Moving slowly to challenge the balance. As you come here into the crescent pose, front knee tracking directly over the front toes, not coming past the ankle. Inhale, chest open. Exhale, sink a little deeper in the back leg, back hips. Back heel lifts high, legs straight. You can stay here with the hands on the hips, or maybe releasing the hands all the way up towards the sky. Try to keep the belly tucked in, belly button towards the spine. Neck long and gaze steady, crescent pose. Two breaths, inhale and exhale. Back leg is straight, energizing towards straight. Front toes pressing down towards the ground. One more inhale and exhale, hands to the hips once more. Inhale here. Exhale, straighten to the front leg and drop the back heel down, maybe stepping forward a few inches so that all contact of the feet are onto the mat. Good. If you have to step forward a few more inches so that the feet are planted, that's totally fine. Keep all 10 toes pointed towards the front of the mat. Inhale here, straighten both legs to their straightest ability. And that could be bent, is what I mean. Inhale here, and exhale, begin to pull the chest forward. Pause at your limit, where the legs are really feeling that bit of strain in the back of the right leg, or the back of the left leg, or maybe both. Keeping the hips square, remember that ASIC joint, pointing directly forward. Maybe come a little deeper on your exhale. Trying to keep both legs coming towards straight. Pyramid pose. Inhale and exhale. We'll stay here for five breaths. You can take any arm variation you'd like, but really we're focusing on the legs, right? So some arm variations are either keeping the hands on the hips, maybe bringing the clasp behind the back, fists come together, maybe hands come towards the ground, Maybe hands release on the front knee. Any variation here that allows you to stay focused with the breath. Two more. Lifting the kneecaps, feel the quads energized, feet energized, heels pressing down into the ground as much as the toes. Last inhale. And exhale, slowly coming all the way back up. Inhale, fingertips rise to the sky. And exhale, hands to the hips. Now coming back out of this pose as we came into it, bending of the front knee and stepping the 
almost stepping the back foot forward, but instead bringing the knee into the chest. Good. Knee hovers in front of you. Stay here one breath to find balance. And now exhale, making your way to tree pose, opening up this foot knee to the outside, to the right side of the room, and bring the foot into either the front of this thigh or in, on the side of the shin. Try not to press directly on the knee joint because we don't want to damage the opposite standing knee. But whatever your tree pose looks like, find that pose here. Find the torso upright and open. Trying not to lean to compensate for any imbalance you may have, you may feel. Tree pose. If you're able, if it's part of your practice, inhaling the arms all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, find calmness. A few more tree pose variations here. Either reaching the fingers high if you'd like. Maybe start to side bend towards the knee. Maybe allow the eyes to softly close. Maybe coming onto the toes, lifting the heel just a hair off the ground. Or maybe whatever version of tree pose you feel is right for you today. Wherever you are, one more breath. And exhale, palms start center. Bring the knee back to center, hovering in front. And slowly releasing the foot down to meet the left. Shaking out the legs. Second side. Toes together, heels slightly apart. Bring the hands to the hips. Slowly with control. Bring the left knee in front of you. Left foot hovers off the ground. Now taking the hands, either clasping behind the thigh or behind the shin. What we're looking for is that the chest can stay open, torso can be upright, and the bottom leg is straight as can be. Pause here, find balance. Find the breath. Standing leg is strong. All toes grounded onto the mat. And now moving ever so slowly, releasing the hands to the hips, and now kicking this left foot back behind you. Hovering here through warrior three, flex the toes, heel lifts, torso comes down towards the ground. And now exhale, bend into the front knee, step the back foot all the way back, and inhale the torso up to crescent pose. Good. In crescent pose, you can adjust as you need to, maybe opening up the stance. But wherever you are, bring that front knee, tracking towards the toes, not past the front ankle. Strengthen straight into the back leg, back heel lifts far off the ground, and sink into the hips. Taking a similar arm variation to the first side, maybe inhaling the arms all the way high for a full crescent pose. Inhale, lengthen the chest open. Exhale, shoulders release, keep the belly tucked into the spine. Find calmness. Two more steady breaths, pressing strongly to that front foot and back foot, squaring the hips. Long inhale and exhale again, releasing the hands to the hips, stepping the back foot forward a few inches so you can plant the heel down. All ten toes pointed forward and both heels grounded onto the mat. Inhale here, spine open. And exhale, begin to lean forward, keeping both legs coming towards straight, beginning to feel a stretch in the back of both legs. Breathe in, chest stays open. And exhale, maybe coming a little deeper. Moving slow, really exploring what each instance of this pose feels like. Try to keep all, toe, all toes making contact with the ground. And then taking any arm variation that feels right for you. Maybe the arms by your sides, maybe a clasp behind the back. 
Maybe allowing the belly and torso to come down towards the ground. Maybe releasing the hands in front of you or to the front knee, front quad, front thigh. Wherever you are, feel the face calm and feel the breath steady. Long inhales and steady exhales. Two more breaths. On your next inhale, begin to pull the chest forward and exhale, come all the way up to standing. Hands to the hips. And again, coming out of it the way that we came in. First, bending the front knee, lifting the back foot off the mat and slowly bringing the right knee into the chest. Pause here, balancing. Keeping the right leg straight and strong. Inhale here. And exhale, making your way to tree pose, opening up the left knee to the left side. Again, planting this foot up on the top of the uh, inner thigh, or maybe on the inside of the shin, or maybe toe on the ground, just balancing slightly. Go wherever you are, try not to press onto this knee joint directly. You don't wanna like bend the knee in the wrong direction. <clears throat> Finding your tree pose, getting there however you get there. And then in tree pose, try not to lean in an extra, lean any, uh, lean extra in any direction unintentionally, but trying to keep the torso upright, chest open. Breathe here, inhale, and slow exhale. If you like full tree pose, reaching the fingertips all the way up towards the sky, and exhale, shoulders release down. Exploring some variations, maybe side bending towards the bent knee. Maybe eyes softly close. Maybe heel lift slightly off the ground. But whatever variation, whatever set of variations you try, listen to the breath, listen to the mind. Two more breaths wherever you are, wherever you choose to be. Inhale and exhale, releasing the hands down, releasing the knee back to center. Hover here, an extra inhale. And then exhale, releasing the foot down to meet the opposite leg, shaking out the legs. Nice job. From here, inhale, fingertips high towards the sky. And exhale, slowly forward, fold, coming fingertips all the way down to the mat, bending the knees as you need. Inhale, halfway up, spine long, chest open. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees deeply, plant the hands, step the feet back into plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, directly to downward facing dog. Toes maybe six or eight inches apart. Hips width, heels pulling down towards the mat. And for probably our first downward facing dog of the day, and maybe our last downward facing dog of the day, let's just breathe here for a few breaths, noticing the body, no judgment, no comparison, but just seeing how we feel today. Bending and straightening to one leg at a time if you'd like. Bring extra awareness into one leg than the other. Maybe stretching into one arm and the other, leaning one direction and another to check in with your body. And then coming to stillness for three more steady breaths. Keep the neck long, tucking the belly in if you'd like. Last deep breath here, inhale. And exhale, inhale, heels lift high, exhale, walking the feet all the way to the hands, and then finding your way to a seat, bring the bum down to the mat, and legs reach out in front of you, checking out the legs. 
and bring the feet together, knees apart, bound ankle pose, Baddha Konasana. Whether the feet are close to the body or whether the feet are making more of a diamond shape, take the variation that you feel is right for you today. Try them both out and see which one feels better. Inhale, wherever you have chosen. Spine long, crown of the head high. And now exhale, grabbing the feet. Pull the torso down in front of the feet. Maybe using the elbows to push the shins open. Breathe here and keep the gaze forward for today to keep the neck long and neck active. Gaze steady, forward, looking forward. Two more steady breaths here. Maybe pulling the torso down a little further. Noticing where you feel the stretch. Breathing into that space. One more inhale. And exhale slowly back upright. Opening up the legs out to a large V shape. Wide legged forward fold. Toes point up towards the ceiling, and maybe we'll stay here just seated upright. If this feels, if you feel some of the stretch already with an upright torso, maybe stay here, keeping the spine long and chest open. Otherwise, for it to go a little deeper, inhale here and exhale, being to forward fold. Hands can walk in front of you a few inches at a time. Keep the toes flexed towards the sky. Knees pointed up towards the sky, and again gazing forward. I'm going to keep looking forward here, keeping the chest pulling forward, heart center pulling forward. Find your edge, adjusting as you need for three more breaths. Taking a deep inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walking the hands in and upright the torso. Good, releasing the knees, pulling them into the body. And then find a cross-legged seat. Find a simple seat, the most comfortable one for you. We'll do some stretches in the neck with the neck. First, releasing the hands down to the knees or by your side. Inhale, shoulders up towards the ears, and exhale, pulling all the way down. Good. Inhale, crown of the head looks high towards the sky, and exhale, bring the right ear towards the right shoulder, tilting just sideways, no twisting, gazing directly forward, but to lean to one side. Good. Breathe here, feeling the stretch in the front of the neck. Keeping the hands on the knees for now, just noticing what you feel. Keeping the face calm, keeping the breath calm. One more inhale, and exhale, slowly bring the neck back to center. Inhale, pull the crown up, and exhale, left ear to the left shoulder. Just turning the neck to the side, Still gazing forward, not down. One more breath here, inhale. And exhale, neck comes slowly back upright. Good, inhale. Imagine the back of the neck, crown of the head lifts a little higher. And again, exhale, right ear to right shoulder. This time, reaching the left arm out to the side. Fingertips reaching. Maybe finding the angle that allows the stretch to come a little deeper. And from here, wiggling the fingers if you like. Noticing the connection of the arm to the neck. To go even deeper, if you want being careful and sensitive to how you're feeling. Maybe grabbing the right hand and letting it rest softly on top of the head. 
a little bit of an extra weight to stretch a little bit deeper. Breathe here carefully with intention. One more inhale and exhale, releasing the hands back down to the side, neck comes up right slowly. Good, inhale, feel the neck long, shoulders down and exhale the second side, left ear towards the left shoulder. Maybe stay here, the same set. Maybe begin to reach the opposite hand out to the side. Fingertips wiggling, getting a little bit extra this time. Breathing still, calmly. An option if you'd like to reach the left arm towards the sky and resting the hand softly on the top of the head. Again, moving with intention, breathing, feeling this space, asking yourself what you need today. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, releasing the hands down by your sides and neck comes upright. Good, inhale here. And exhale again, right ear to right shoulder. This time we're gonna make a slow semicircle. Begin to tilt the head down towards the ground. Pausing here with the chin towards the sternum. Keep sitting upright, just the neck is bent down. Now slowly continuing all the way to the left side. Pausing here, inhale. Exhale, slowly coming down. Pause here at center with the neck pointing directly down and forward. And then continuing on, bring the right ear to right shoulder. Good, one more set, inhale. Exhale, rocking the neck forward and down. Feeling the sensation in the neck stretch move as you move, pausing at center, inhale, and exhale, continuing along your path, and coming all the way to the left ear to left shoulder, slowly upright the neck, coming back to neutral, inhale, arms high towards the sky, and take a net with the hand, clasping the fingers behind the head, pushing the head down now, chin towards the sternum, Adding a little extra weight here to the top of the head, using as much force as feels right for you. But we're still sitting upright, spine is long, upright. Neck is bending, flexing down towards the sternum. Breathe here, maybe keeping the elbows wide if you can. And exhale, keep applying pressure to the back of the head. Feeling this neck stretch propagate down to the upper back, to the top of the shoulders. Face is calm, noticing the sensation you feel. Two more breaths with pressure applied on the back of the head with the hands. Eyebrows soften. Now keeping the neck and the head where it is, we're going to release the hands by our sides. Palms facing up towards the sky. And keep the neck here. Consciously feeling the weight of the head. Feeling the residual energy in the neck and the back of the body from that deep stretch. Allowing it to dissipate completely before slowly lifting the chin, bring the neck back to center. Good, inhale here. Full exhale. Inhale, fingertips reach high towards the sky. Exhale, find the fingertips behind you, pointing towards the front. Inhale here. And exhale, leaning back into the hands, lift the chin up towards the sky, and allow the head to drop back. Stretching the front of the chin, stretching the front body and chest. If you'd like, you can keep the mouth open or closed. Wherever you are, 
stretching that front of the neck. Breathe here. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, tuck the chin into the sternum as you come all the way up back to a comfortable seat, neutral seat. Hands to the front of the knees. A few rounds of uh, seated cat cows to finish off our practice. As we inhale, pull the knees into the body, chest and belly pulls forward, gaze slightly up. And exhale, round, pull the elbows forward, feel the spine round and arch, gazing at the belly button. Inhale, pull the knees in, chest pulls forward, heart pulls forward. Exhale, round, spine round, shoulders tuck forward, elbows tuck forward. Last one, inhale, pulling belly, chest forward. Breathe in. And exhale, round. Exaggerate this movement, this last one. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, staying here. Allow those eyes to softly close, hands resting on top of the knees. Maybe palms down on the knees if you're feeling more grounded, looking inwards. Maybe the palms facing up towards the sky if you want to cultivate openness and reception. Wherever you are, allow the breath to steady. Allowing the mind to check in with the body and how you're feeling from this practice today. Now allowing the mind to check in with the mind and reflect on your mental reactions. Trying to let go of any thoughts that don't add value. Soft breathing. Soft pace. Deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale, arms reach all the way up towards the sky. And exhale, palms start center. Last breath together, inhale, fingertips reach all the way up, gathering all the positive energy. And exhale, bring it into your heart center. By the forehead down to the fingertips as a sign of gratitude. Taking a deep breath here to feel grateful for our bodies and all that we are capable and strength and flexibility. And another deep breath to feel grateful for our minds and all the peace and calmness we've cultivated in our practice today. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice. Namaste. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.